top 10 in the point standings are here to close out Saturday night in men's competition. Event 10 underway. 10 rounds of nine thrusters and 35 double unders. You want to start at a steady pace in this event. There is a lot of work to do. There are a lot of rounds in this event. It's nine thrusters to start. Fraser's out to a very quick pace. What we've seen is you're probably trying to average somewhere around 55 seconds per if you want to stay close to Josh Bridges. Stay in your lane early. There's going to be a lot of different strategies out there in the first three rounds. It's what happens in the last three that's going to make the difference. You say, don't be a baby. It's going to hurt. You're going to feel like your lungs are bleeding. If you want to pick up the bar and move it, you'll be able to. You just got to suck it up and do it. Matt Fraser in the white leader's jersey finds himself in second place in the heat. The man two lanes underneath him in this shot is Noah Olson. That man is the leader after round number one. He sees himself two points behind Brent Fikowski for the third position in the point standing. What do we say all the time with Noah Olson? The kid loves to start fast and push the rest of the field. Now, if they're doing their job like staying in their lane they're going to let him go right off the bat he started out in 42.6 seconds you will not be able to hold that for the whole 10 rounds but no one knows his pace and he likes to come out fast one thing that's worth pointing out is this almost seems this weekend like a different noah olsen when it comes to his strategy it's been a little bit more conservative than we've seen in the past and speaking of planning and trying to uh, do things your way, Brent Fikowski currently standing in that third position. Well, Fikowski is one of those bottom athletes when you're looking at 17.5 relative to the rest of the field. He's sitting in third overall, just four points above Olsen, but only 16 points out of second. What he needs to do is what he does best. Calculate, reset, rescan the rest of the field, recalculate, com compute again. Sikowski currently third in the point standings on the left. Olsen currently fourth in the point standings on the right. Olsen sitting second place in the heat as Matt Fraser is basically doing what he's done all weekend long, and he is out in front. Well, if there's anyone that can cycle a barbell faster than Matt Fraser in 135-pound thrusters, I'd love to see him because I've been watching the last few heats, and this guy is just, he just moves so well with that barbell. He puts himself in good, just physical positions, at nice upright chest, but that does, it just allows you to breathe easier. It's not crushing, you know, sitting in that rack position, that bar tends to, to rest on the throat a little bit. You get a little dizzy towards the bottom, but Matt Fraser gets in such good positions, it makes thrusters easy, well, it makes them look easier. There's nothing easy about a 135-pound thruster 90 times. And let's think about the historical points for Matt Fraser. In the triangle couplet with the thrusters at 165, he won that event. He also had the top time in the world in 17.5. Somebody that wasn't far behind him in 17.5 is this man, Scott Panchik. He's also been creeping his way up the leaderboard in typical Scott Panchik fashion. At the end of two days, we were starting to get a little nervous about Scott Panchik. He had a great open, good regionals, and he's always found himself up in that kind of sixth, sixth, fourth, fourth turning. He didn't have the good start like he usually does, but he's creeping up, just like you said. One lane over from him, somebody else that's slowly been chipping away on the leaderboard, and that's the 2015 champ, Ben Smith. Well, I remember looking at the final heat about one day ago when we were doing Amanda 45 and didn't recognize any of the names in the final heat trying to push, push Matt Fraser. Your top guys are slowly clawing back into the top 10. Ben Smith is one of those athletes. But already beyond the halfway point in terms of the rounds is Matt Fraser as he starts round number six just ahead of Noah Olsen on the right. And the pace at which Matt Fraser is moving is that he is on pace for an eight minute time here for heavy 17.5. Saw the stat earlier that Matt Fraser is one top two finish away from tying Rich Froning for the most all time at 23. In the last 24 events since last year's game started, Matt Fraser has had 13 finishes of first or second. It is absolute just annihilation of the field the past two years. 
Fraser starting his round of seven. He's already been completed six rounds. If I'm looking at his pace up into here, he held about a 45 second pace for the first two rounds. Now he's starting to float up towards the 50, 52 second pace. You know, what's going to be tough for Matt is that if he does want to win this event, he's going to have to do it on his own because I don't think any of the other athletes are going to step up to challenge him. The best time, unfortunately, for him was set in heat number one by Josh Bridges at 841.38. Fraser with about a five-second lead over Noah Olsen in second. It's a 30-second lead for Fraser over third place Scott Panchik. So the 2014 games rookies, Fraser and Olsen, are putting on a show to close out Saturday night for the men here at the games. Now we've reached the final three rounds. We're right at 545. Josh Bridges' last three rounds took him right around two minutes and 50 seconds. If he can replicate the same speed, that would put him right about five seconds faster than Josh Bridges' pace. And Fraser pulling away from Brent Fikowski, and more notably in for Fikowski is Noah Olsen is putting distance between himself and Fikowski. And when you're only sitting two to four points behind him, it's four exactly. Noah Olsen, who is doing everything he can to creep back up into a podium position, needs to stay ahead of Brent Fikowski. Two rounds remain for Matt Fraser as he completes round number eight at six minutes and 33 seconds. He has about two minutes to beat the time of Josh Bridges all the way back in heat number one of 841.38. And if he wants to do it, he's going to have to do what Josh Bridges did. Josh Bridges got faster as he did his rounds. In round number nine, it took him 57 seconds. In the final round, it took Josh Bridges 52 seconds. At the end of round number six, the interval between Fraser and first and Olsen and second was four seconds. Then it was nine seconds. Now it's 17 seconds between the two. As we watch Matt Fraser pull ahead of the rest of the field, look at Ricky Garrard on the right side getting a no rep on his thrusters. He has about four reps left to go. He is falling down to eighth place in this heat. So though Fakowski might lose some ground to Noah Olsen, those names might flip-flop for your top three if Garrard can't sustain getting here in this final couple of rounds. And Ricky Garrard shaking his head. Not sure if it was to himself or to the judge in disagreement, but either way, he will watch Matt Fraser completely put on a show here on Saturday night. He won the event earlier today in the Muscle Up Queen Ladder. He won 17.5 in the World Wide Open with a 95 par pound bar at six minutes and 24 seconds. In 2014, he won one event. In 2015, he won one event. 2016, one event win. Three event wins in his first three years, and it looks like it will be three event wins this weekend in the 2017 Reebok CrossFit Games. He didn't need it. He's going to get it anyway. 100 more points for Matt Fraser, and he can do it walking to the platform. That's what you call a walk-off finish for Matt Fraser. Noah Olsen has a shot to take second place. That time will go by from Josh Bridges at 841. The time of Dakota Rager and heat number two goes by of 844. Travis Mayer's 849 will go by. But we're looking at a top five finish for Noah Olsen, who continues to hold on to his highest points position since event one back in 2015. And Panchek continues to climb up the leaderboard with that finish. You could start the rest of the field with a 200-pound jump. Scott Panchek will still find a way to finish fourth, fifth, or sixth at the games at the end of the weekend. I know you just said Panchek as Ben Smith is just a couple reps away from finishing. I want to know where Brent Fikowski is, who is trying to hold off Noah Olsen for that second-place position. Ben Smith, fourth-place finisher in the heat, good for ninth in the event. And here's Brent Fikowski. Not a bad job of damage control for somebody that was near the back of the pack in terms of the athletes here in Madison. In 17.5 in the open, he was 32nd of the 39. Patrick Vellner on the near side of the screen. Jason Smith in the middle. Janikowski on the far end of the screen. This is the fight for 6th, 7th, and 8th. 
Smith. Give six to Jason Smith, seventh to Yonikowski. And Patrick Vellner trying to hang on to this position over Bjorgman Carl Goodmanson, who's been in a bit of a free fall the past few events. Two athletes left on the floor, and they both have massive point implications. Bjorgvin Carl Goodmanson with a couple of double unders remaining. There's his last one. He'll hit the platform in ninth in the heat. Good for 27th in the event, and the second place man in the point standings, Ricky Garrard, is the last man on the floor with under 90 seconds remaining in the time cap. This isn't the event that Garrard wanted nor needed as a second place athlete coming in, but he's still having a stellar rookie campaign over the first 10 events with one day of competition remaining.